whip giving another tip and this one is actually gonna be co-signed um, to a beautiful young lady by the name of Chantel Simone um, I'm gonna review a little video that she did that I highly appreciate because uh, it's something I've been saying for over a decade and a half maybe even two decades man what can I say I was an observing kid but um it's basically some sound advice uh, for quote unquote modern black women so I'm gonna let her start off ladies first and then I'll pretty much go over some of her points that I highly agree with um, that were my points long before they were hers just simply because I have a beat by about a decade and I've been saying this shit so I'm glad that she's kind of woken up and um, made some realizations that most women don't make until 40 you know what I'm saying E40 is when they make those uh, realizations and what I mean by E40 is they're empty at 40 it's over for them so that's about the time when they start to realize they've been doing this shit all wrong um, if they actually do realize at all so let's go ahead and get into that today's video we're gonna talk about something that I learned too that I find that many black women um, lack <laughs> this knowledge because a lot of us were told the complete opposite growing up and I'll put the post right here it says men don't enjoy challenges in relationships the same way women do so when you tell us you're a lot to handle or high maintenance we believe you and take our focus elsewhere now a lot of women will hear this and say well it's because you can't handle us you're intimidated by us um you want us to dim your light you want us to dim our light it has nothing to do with that if we want to be better if we want to learn how to to be in a healthy relationship you know if we want to be in a healthy relationship we have to normalize looking at things from our men's perspective and too many of us were raised with that mindset of be challenging um debate the man be combative never um don't just sit there and let the man tell you what to do don't be a doormat and we took that to the extreme to the point where we find joy in debate we find joy in challenging our men and if you think about it men have to go out especially black men have to go out in the world and fight a battle that many of us black women do not know about he wants peace in his relationship so when you're saying oh i'm high maintenance i'm hard to handle i'm this i'm that he's not seeing that as a oh exciting challenge he's just seeing it as an additional challenge he's already dealing with a lot he's already especially black men they're already dealing with so much in this world and then they have to come home to a challenging woman so i'm using this video to give a different perspective i'm using this video to to hopefully help many black women understand it's not to dim your light and it's not to bash you or put you down but it's men want peace men want to know that when he comes home to his woman she will be his peace so yeah man she's right on point with it um like i said couldn't agree more been saying it and um there's been many a times when i've when i've been listening to a sister complain about dating and the quality of men nowadays and all this kind of stuff and um I'll be first reminding them, like, listen, you do know that as a black woman, you have the worst reputation on the planet. Um, and that's a fact. So, yeah, they usually get offended by the truth, but that's not a black woman trait. That's a woman trait. They get offended when you try to keep it real with them. And I ain't sugarcoating nothing. I don't even eat candy, so I'm not sugarcoating nothing. But um, it's, it's reality, bro. It's true. I've many, many of times just observed people avoiding black women because I'm a people watcher. And you could go to the post office, you could go to the DMV, you know what I mean? Anywhere where black women uh, make up the majority of the uh, associates or cashiers or whatever. And I've watched black men as well as white folk avoiding uh, black cashiers on many, 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 many occasions. And uh, I don't gotta guess what's going on because I do the same thing. And for whatever reason, I gotta go like pay a ticket or something, or I gotta like, I don't know, renew my registration or some shit like that. I will avoid 
the black uh, employee if if it's possible. If there's if there's a way that I could go to someone else, I'd rather wait, you know, on a longer line to not have to deal with a black woman. And that's not because I like I'm prejudiced or something like that. It's because I already know what I'm about to deal with. And um, it can be confirmed because while you're on the line, you can see the attitude that she's giving to the people before you. And um, I'm not with it. You know, me personally, I don't, I tell guys all the time, don't argue with women. If she's not your wife, she's not the mother of your children, she's not your, like, domestic partner, living girlfriend, don't even waste your time arguing, bro. It's, it's subtract yourself from the equation immediately. If she wants to calm down and, and, and hit you up at another time and talk, like a, you know, like a... A decent human being that's cool but once a woman raises her voice and all of that man get the hell up out of there and um they have a tendency to be very nasty very rude very disrespectful and i noticed that they throw it at black men even more and my estimation of it is is that women are wired to deny they're wired to deny men as they're being selective and picking who they think is worthy and good enough, they are rejecting and denying everyone else. The problem is when a woman isn't attractive and no one's making advances on her, she has to take that rejection out on somebody else. She has to reject someone else. She's like, well, if I can't reject you um, on my phone number because you're not asking for it, if I can't deny you sex because you're not interested in it, well, I gotta deny you something else right and that can be sweet and sour sauce with your whopper if you guys get what i'm trying to say and i'm pretty sure many of you fellas have experienced what i'm talking about they they jump at any opportunity to tell you no to deny you something to talk down to you to be condescending and it's like yo i don't even know you like do your job like this is your job do your job be polite have some customer service why are you talking to me like like I like I'm I'm your ex-boyfriend or something. Talk to me like I'm your baby daddy. I don't know you. I don't gotta put up with your shit. Go find a dude that that needs to put up with your crap and take it out on him. Don't verbally abuse me. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I've learned to avoid uh, angry black women in life. I'm not even talking about dating because I made that decision. You know what? I didn't have to make that decision. I never really even bothered to try to do that because. When I was first talking to girls and liking girls, black women always reject me and in the nastiest of ways and always for things that they themselves didn't even have. So I learned real quick, go where you're wanted, go where you're appreciated, go where you're liked. I have so many grown brothers that like just now realizing that or like never realized that. It's like, dude, you have your shit together, you're good looking, you're attractive, why are you putting up with this shit? And a lot of black dudes put up with it because they don't know they have options or they don't actually have options. So I've many in my times, uh, many times in my life been that dude that's with um, a, a young lady that's a much lighter complexion than me. And some black women that I've never met before in my life have, have a problem with it and they're openly expressing um, their disdain for it and I'm like I don't know you I don't owe you nothing so I don't even know why you're acting like your opinion matters you know what I'm saying like I'm gonna date whoever I want to date and more importantly that's gonna be who I feel treats me the way I want to be uh, treated so the experience in my life with dating women is I've just never dealt with um, I've never dealt with sisters and it's not even like I went out of my way to avoid them they're not hard to avoid because most of the time they're not really friendly or interested anyway until they see you with something non you know dark skin then they have a problem all of a sudden and if they didn't even want you until they seen you with a spanish chick with curly hair or a white girl or or, or, or whatever um yeah but i've had many black women trying to shame me and oh you only date white girls and it's like first of all i date mostly latin women so you're just saying anything at this point but a lot of black women act like anything that's not black is white that's another just one of the ignorant stupid things that they say um i give you an example of how stupid some of their shaming language is i had one chick come up on my ig and be like uh you don't never uh you only paint white bitches you only paint white people and trying to shame me for who i paint portraits of and i'm like all right let me 
first of all put you in your place real quick I shouldn't even be responding to you because I really don't care what you think and I don't have to explain or justify anything but let me just put into perspective how stupid you are if you read it says that I'm a commission artist meaning I paint commissions I paint things that people pay me to paint so if someone pays me to paint Kobe Bryant guess who I'm gonna paint Kobe Bryant okay if someone pays me to paint Gwyneth Paltrow well I'm painting Iron Man's bitch like it's that simple so if you're not paying me to paint a black person then how are you in a position to complain that I only paint white bitches the irony is is that what that means is that there are more white people supporting me as a local artist than my own sisters so that's just an example of how ridiculous their shaming language is because women are going to make their choices based on what they want and what they don't want or whatever nobody's telling them what options to take and what options not to take even though they're picking terrible options most of the time we already know the issue with the with the single mother rate and the guys that they choose to to, to make babies with um, you know all the brothers that are you know into school education you know getting degrees and all that stuff they're nerds you know what I'm saying they're nerds they're corny until chicks turn into the late 30s and then now they want a pension plan now all of a sudden that guy's looking you know desirable now or now he can get a chance but high school college he was he was too corny for her she wanted the thugs right now they will sit here and shame black dudes for sampling or trying or entertaining other options but at the same time they only entertain the options that they find attractive that they're interested in and the truth of the matter is most black men date black women okay over 80 percent of black men are with that are with a woman are with black women so when they tell you that white women are taking all their men or all the black guys are dating outside that's bullshit a very small percentage is the thing is it's the most desirable percentage and that's not hard to figure out why because those guys have options it's not I'm not gonna date black women because I got money now it's where was that black woman when I didn't have money and also I want to get along with the person that I'm with I don't want to be fighting I don't want to be struggling and that's what Chantel was pretty much um, bringing attention to which we all know we all know that's the case that they're really really hard to deal with and um, she just wanted a few black women that's actually being honest and calling it out. And I think that's so necessary if they're going to stand a chance. Personally, I've already given up on it because I don't believe that I should be kept in a box based on my skin complexion. Like the, to me, I, I don't judge people based on their color anyway. My friends are my friends. Whatever color they are, that's the color they are. Who I date is who I date. Whatever color they are, that's whatever color they are. Who I work with and do business with, again, I don't really care what color they are. My entertainment, I like a movie, I like a movie. I like a character, I like the character. I don't really care about the color, right? Um, but anyway, but if they're gonna stand a chance, they gotta have to wake up and realize it needs to be um, an attitude adjustment for real, um, definitely. So they make it really hard to be with them and really hard to date them, and then they get upset when nobody wants to play with them. You know what I mean? If you're the if you're the kid that has the worst attitude in the neighborhood and then all the other kids exclude you when it comes time to play, you can't blame them. You got to fix your attitude. Um, so I'm glad that she's pointing that out. And I've given this advice to black women for many, many years. Like, listen, you actually have the advantage because most black women have terrible attitudes. Even the ones that think they don't have terrible attitudes, they actually have terrible attitudes. In comparison, then it's easier to see. If you've only dealt with black women, you might think, oh, this girl doesn't really have an attitude. Yeah, because you're not comparing her to the rest of the women in the world. If you compare it to the rest, you know what I'm saying, of the girls out there, she she does have more of, of, of an attitude. Um, but I tell them all the time, you have an advantage if you just simply be more pleasant. Just be more pleasant, be more supportive, be less resentful, be less angry, um, be less confrontational, you know what I'm saying? than the average black chick and you have a huge advantage because you'll be someone that's a lot easier to get along with and I also want to say I'm not saying that white women don't have bad attitudes I'm not saying that Spanish women don't have bad attitudes I'm not even saying that there aren't Asian women that have that don't have bad attitudes I've experienced all of the above but <laughs> 
usually it's not as bad, you know what I'm saying, as the as the average black chick that you would um, deal with. So, hey, that's just what it is. Most guys like women that are feminine, passive, you know what I mean, submissive, cooperative, you know what I'm saying, supportive. I mean, man, I'll give you more examples, man. Just so y'all don't, don't think I'm like trying to pick on somebody, single somebody out because they always want to play the fucking victim. I'm just keeping it real. I've had many of my friends, including myself, accomplish something and then a black woman's response will be something like dot 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 little you know what i mean like they always belittle the accomplishments when they get a degree i'm educated i mean they're, they're, they're bragging and throwing it all in your face but when a black man gets an education oh you, you oh you think you big and bad because you got your little degree why when you get the degree it's the biggest thing in the world when the black man gets a degree it's a little degree when they get their own business I'm, I'm independent. I got my own business. I make my own money. But when a black man has his own business, oh, you think you the shit because you got your little business? Again, why is it little when he gets it, but it's big when you get it? My boy for 10 years was at the same job. Kept saying he wanted to start his own business. I kept on pushing him and encouraging him. I said, bro, stop worrying about how you're going to do it and just focus on what you want to do. If you focus on what you want to do, you choose you know, say, okay, this is the type of business I'm going to open up. As soon as you finally choose it, then you can do the research, figure out what you got to do, how you're going to go about the loan, all that kind of stuff. Everything will fall into place once you come up with, um, you know, a destination. You'll figure out how to get there. Sure enough, he started a landscaping business. Um, and, uh, you know, he had to go all the way out to Texas to go to go get a truck because he found a really good price. You know what I'm saying? A full, full size, uh, fully loaded Toyota Tundra. And his wife had the nerve to say to him, oh, what, you think you're the shit now because you got your little truck? I'm like, there's nothing little about a, a Tundra. It's the actually the pickup truck that's won, won the most awards. Like, back to, anyway, that's another story, but it's just, a, it's just a, a common theme that I see is that every time a black man accomplishes something or does something good, black women don't appreciate it they don't encourage him instead they belittle it and they basically tell him you still ain't shit that's basically the su the summary the short version of what they're saying is you still ain't shit just because you're a black man you ain't shit and you ain't never gonna be shit and i'm sorry but it really hurts when the only person giving you that message in modern day is the one person that's supposed to have always given you the opposite message black women are who throughout time were supposed to be the one group of people that were telling black men you're strong you're important you're special you're valuable you're loved you're needed you know what i'm saying you know and giving that encouragement and the irony is that's the one group of people that that are that are telling you you ain't shit and you ain't never gonna be shit and no matter what you do it ain't good enough um and those are just facts man you know what I'm saying? This is for the fellas anyway, mostly so. I'm sure plenty of women would be denying it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm making this shit up, but it's what I've experienced and what all the black guys that I know in my entire life have experienced. The same exact shit. Um, you know, even me, man. I started bodybuilding, winning up competitions. You know what I'm saying? Get my pro card. You coming around some black women? What's up, Mr. Muscle Man? Okay, as if building muscles is somehow a bad thing, but yet every guy wants to do it and asks me how. But, you know, um, I, I remember in the same day, I had a white woman come and tell me something about my physique and a black woman. The white woman was like, um, I see you work out a lot and I just want to let you know that I appreciate a guy that takes that much pride. And, you know, and I'm thinking like, you know, is this chick trying to hit on me? Absolutely not. She made it clear she was not. She was just saying, hey, I see it and I appreciate it. I know it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of discipline. So I just wanted to say, you know, that's 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 valuable. And then the black chick was like, Mr. Muscle Man. I was just like, man. <laughs> and the irony was the black chick was probably the one that was attracted to me. You see? But you see the difference? So, and I've also told black guys, you know, because I've had guys be like, yeah, man, she doesn't like me because, you know, I tried to talk to her and she had an attitude and she was real difficult. And I was like, that does not mean a black woman doesn't like you. If anything, it probably means the opposite. Oh, well, if, if she's interested, why is she being, you know, why was she having such an attitude? It's like, listen, black women already have 
like they have insecurity issues. So she's thinking that you're only stepping to her because you're trying to hit. So what she's doing is she's making it extremely difficult to talk to her to see how much effort you're going to put in. So the way black women shit test you to see if you're actually interested in them or if they if you really like them is they make it very difficult to talk to them and to deal with it and they see how much you're going to put up with before they make an investment. Now, of course it doesn't make sense, it's counterintuitive, but I'm just saying that's what it is. So for the guys who are still out there trying 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 with these sisters, you you, you out here with these Gabriel unions? Well, that's what you're gonna have to deal with to prove that you really like her and to prove that you really love her. You're gonna have to put up with a shitload of abuse. Um, and one point that the sister made that is so true is that we gotta go out here and fight the world. We ain't trying to come home and fight our girl. And I've been saying that for years. Like, listen, I'm not trying to go out here and struggle with the world and then I gotta come home and I gotta deal with my aunt giving me a hard time or I got to deal with my girl giving me a hard time or I got to deal with my cousin giving me a hard time because that's another thing I wanted to mention so I want people to understand where I'm coming from I'm not just talking about relationships romantic relationships I'm talking about black women in general are difficult there are black women in my family that I've had to distance myself from because they're just too freaking hard to deal with man you know what I'm saying they're always trying to chop you down and they're always saying something slick um Dating non-black women, I've gotten a lot of shit from the females in my family. I remember one time, like, a chick had bought me a whole bunch of stuff, and my aunt found out about it, and she was like, Why y'all have gal buy you things? Now, I become the poppy show. Why y'all have gal buy things for now? I'm the girl buy you things. And I was like, what? I'm like, aunt, what? I couldn't even believe it. My own aunt was hating on me because a chick was, like, treating me well and buying me nice gifts and stuff. And I'm like, I'm your nephew. You should be on my side you should be happy for me but no nope 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 chopping me down you know criticizing me you know and um that's another common theme that i see as black women being extremely verbally abusive to their sons and nephews and and even brothers and whatnot i've seen it and we've all seen it don't act like y'all don't know what i'm talking about y'all have seen it go to the mall and see how you know black single moms talk to their children it's unbelievable how they talk to their children and it's actually worse than anybody else <laughs> in society is going to talk to their kids so what type of impact or trauma do you think that you're putting on that kid when you talk to him like that and these are the same mothers that get upset when their sons grow up and date non-black women they take offense to it they take it personal but it's like if he saw how difficult that you were to deal with, why would he go out of his way to not only seek that, but then go out of his way to deal with what it takes to stay in those relationships, right? So this shit running way too long, man. This is a bunch of stuff that I didn't even need to say. I really just wanted to give props to um, to this chick, man, uh, Chantel Simone. So some of y'all brothers, man, go ahead and check her channel out because she's just another sister that's actually telling the truth and she's definitely not pandering She's not trying to be a, a pick-me girl, even though you should want to be a pick-me girl. That actually sounds like a good thing. Why wouldn't you want to get uh, picked or chosen? Um, but I think, or I'm convinced, that she's genuinely out here trying to help sisters and, and stray them back in the, right, uh, you know, in the right direction as far as getting along with their men is concerned. So um, that would be a beautiful thing, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. It's ice cream.